Gorgeous shot looking west off the CN Tower. Still a little bit of a bouncy camera because the winds are still going, but the cloud, whatever's left, will be gone tomorrow. The wind, whatever's left, is also going to be gone tomorrow. So this map, as the show has gone on, we see less and less numbers on the map because it doesn't show any gusts over about 30 kilometers per hour. Uh, we've got them anywhere from 35 to 40 right now. But as I mentioned, the wind is going to be dying down and that's going to shut off these lake effect showers that are happening. So colder air over the wide open Great Lakes that are running warm, uh, creating these uh, showers downstream of that wind, even a couple of showers making it into Toronto. But the blue on the radar, yeah, we've got some wet flurries happening over higher elevations, and that will happen for another two to four hours or so. So this is your midnight snapshot. We're still looking at that lake effect precipitation right there. Still some cloud into Toronto at midnight. And then as the wind gets lighter, all of that uh, action will start pushing back towards Georgian Bay. So I think we're in for a mainly sunny to partly cloudy sky tomorrow. And as I mentioned, winds will be negligible, uh, very calm conditions. It's also going to be cold tomorrow morning, just by the way. Three degrees is what we're waking up to in the city. But we'll have a number of spots dropping to just below that freezing mark. Not much of a wind chill, though, because, again, at this point, the wind is like two to five kilometers per hour. All right, here's the long-range wind. Tuesday sticks out at over 60 kilometers per hour, and that's important. I wanted to show you this because it's not just the strength, but the direction. That wind is switching back around to the south, and that's what's going to drive in this next pocket of warm air, like really warm, potentially record-breaking temperatures again on Tuesday. It'll start pushing out on Wednesday, and then by uh, sort of Thursday and late next week, we're going to be back into cooler air, albeit seasonal air as we head towards the end of next week. Uh, National Hurricane Center, by the way, we still got a month left in Atlantic hurricane season. Uh, they're watching two systems, but this one in red here, there will likely be something developing late weekend into the early part of next week. And if it becomes a named storm, Patty is next on the list. So we're thinking right now that interest in Jamaica and Cayman Islands have to keep a close eye on that one as it has a good chance of developing. All right, it's going to be a seasonal weekend, and we're going to have 49 hours worth to deal with these uh, seasonal temperatures. Don't forget to replace your uh, batteries in the smoke and carbon monoxide detector systems. Uh, also on Sunday, and I showed you this yesterday, but just a reminder, because the clocks are going back, that sun will start setting at 5.04. Monday, by the way, kids don't need any uh, any rain gear for that because that rain isn't coming until 7, 8 p.m. And there's that wind and the potentially record-breaking temperature on Tuesday.